welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Lesozo GH, also known in other circles as Leslie Nijete Anan. I'm a teacher, an entrepreneur, as well as an entertainer. Today, I'm going to talk to you about why determination isn't easy but necessary. I'll be back. There is a story about a chimpanzee who gave birth to two children. One was very ugly and the other was very beautiful. Naturally, you know what a mother would do. A good mother would take care of all two, but a bias, a discriminated mother, would want to take care of more of the take care of the beautiful one. And that's what the chimpanzee mom did. She was taking, giving too much care to the beautiful one to the detriment of the ugly one. So the ugly one got uglier and the beautiful one kept his, um, its beauty for a long time. Period. In fact, it was not allowed to do anything. It wasn't allowed to walk about. It wasn't allowed to even go and find food. It was the mother who was giving everything to this um, beautiful chimpanzee baby. So for years, you could see that the ugly one had no other choice but to do what? To fend for itself. Now, fending for itself meant that it would sometimes be faced with um, relatives of life, with hardship, with certain unexpected blocks. But this chimpanzee overcame it, and with time, it got used to the environment it was living in. In no time, the, the chimpanzee, the mom chimpanzee, died, and so the the beautiful chimpanzee and the ugly chimpanzee had to face the world on their own. What happened was that the ugly one was able to survive, but the beautiful one, in no time, did what? Died. Now, what does this tell you? In life, it looks like some of us have been given all that we need to succeed, but we do not see it. There are others who do not have a, a pinch of what we have. But these people, we see that their lives have moved from one level to the next. Then we, we come up with all sorts of reasons and all sorts of... Uh, uh, and all sorts of theories behind that. However, what we don't know is that is determination. Determination. When you're determined to reach the level that you have put before you, you do anything. And that is what happens to people who are marginalized. You see people who are discriminated against coming up right from the um, unexpected background, reaching the top of their game. Then others will be watching and will be, will be surprised. What we should know is that as long as we have been given, and I, I'm bringing your mind to the fact that some of us have been given free education, but we are not looking at developing ourselves into great people because almost everything that we need has been given to us, and that is the education. We have parents who have given us all that we need, but we're not stretching ourselves, we're not moving ourselves to the next level, so that our parents or those who have given us this gift will be proud of us. Why? It looks like when things have gotten easily, they are mishandled. Is that the case? If you're out there and you you have free education, or you have free food, or you have free accommodation, or you have a, a job that has been given to you, that has been bestowed on you, not by your effort, but by an external force. I'm telling you that do not overlook the fact that you are the beautiful chimpanzee. And if you do not take care, if you don't rise up to the occasion, it's most probable that you will die at the point where you should stand on your own. When you are left, you will just drop. I'm not saying anything sad. I'm not saying anything harsh. What I'm saying is a reality, and I believe you've heard me, and you're going to change your ways. In this, I'm also talking to those who do not have the means, who were brought up in very challenging circumstances. They have parents who were poor or who are poor. They have um, environments where they are not taken care of. People do not, there are, there are no health facilities. There are no schools. Come on. Look at the ugly chimpanzee. What did it do? It didn't give up. No, it didn't give up. It was, it, it came up, was self-determined, fought on, did what it could.
to sustain his life. And at the point when there was no external body to look at or to maintain it, the two of them, the one who has been fighting all along was able to fight. So remember, you should be self-determined. You cannot wait on to you cannot wait until somebody comes to push you. Wherever you are at is not good enough. You can be better than that place. Until we are dead, we still have to grow. So grow. Thank you. If you enjoyed the video, please do subscribe and share with your friends and loved ones. This message has to get to everyone. Bye-bye.